I get depressed because I feel uh, disconnected from people. You know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, that's what I mean. I don't know if it's like my personality, the way that I look at things, or the things that I've read that makes it harder for me to interact with people. I don't think you should read, by the way. This is just, I'm gonna put that out there. And if I've learned anything from reading, it's don't read. It doesn't help you. You just learn shit nobody knows. And now you can't talk about it. You can't like bring it up at a party. You sound insane. You ever try to bring up a book you read at a party? You sound nuts. You know what you sound like? You sound like Copernicus must have sounded in the 16th century. You ever think about that? Copernicus was the first person who figured out that the Earth rotated around the sun. Before him, they thought the Earth was the center of the universe. He's like, no, guys, the Earth rotates around the sun. And everyone was like, ha, 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 you're an idiot. <laughs> he was like, no, look, check it out. I proved it with math. And they're like, fuck off, wizard. And then <laughs> he died alone. It's like, was that worth it, Nicholas? What kind of life was that? Were you happy? He should have just shut the fuck up and be like, yeah, fine, I don't care. The earth is the center. Can I come to the barbecue? Like, I don't really care if I'm right and no one gets that. I'd rather be appreciated by people who are here while I'm alive. You ever read a book by one of those famous, like, ahead of their time, genius, dead authors, and you read the book now, and you're like, oh, these are good points about life. I feel less alone. Yeah, good for you. They didn't feel that. They wrote that book ostracized, just frantic in the woods, like, I hope somebody's out there! Oh! Is everybody crazy or am I? And then they die not knowing. And then 200 years later, you find that scribbled book in a Barnes and Noble, like, oh, these are good points. Go fuck yourself. Where were you when they needed you? That doesn't help them. It's easy to say Copernicus is a genius now, but would you have said it then when it was difficult? Would you have stuck up for him when it mattered, or would you have been like everyone else and been like, oh, look at that fancy moron, and then eating whatever food they ate when they were being wrong? <laughs> Which one would you be? The thing is, you gotta find the Copernicus of now. You gotta find the people that are saying that shit now and support them, because they need it. But it, people, nobody thinks their society needs to go any further. Everyone thinks they're the advanced society. Everyone thinks they're the enlightened society. This is true throughout history. There were slave owners, probably thought they were like modern and progressive. Like, well, I support small business and we pick organic cotton, so I'm a progressive <laughs> slave owner. It's like, yeah, no, the status quo is the problem. That's the same shit now. There's things that we're doing now that are gonna look bad. Like, I'm not a vegetarian, but I, I think in the future they're gonna, they're gonna decide animals have rights, and this shit is gonna look so bad. <laughs> they're gonna be like, what were you doing? You killed trillions, and we're just like, ah. <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> You extinguish life. And you're like, yeah, you ever have a burger? <laughs> oh. <laughs> made, <laughs> made a smile to put dead animals in our faces. <laughs> so we did it. I read, uh, I read a lot of woods literature, manifestos. That's my favorite genre of book. Manif I read the Unabomber Manifesto recently. I don't know if anyone checked that one out. But uh, the Unabomber, if you don't remember, he mailed bombs to people from the woods. <laughs> And he wrote a manifesto explaining his worldview. And he was like this math genius. So I was like, I wanted to know what he wrote because I figured it was something smart, interesting, you know? So I got the book on Amazon, just boop, they sent it to me. It's kind of fun to get the Unabomber manifesto in the mail. Uh, <laughs> but I read the book and this, I read the book and I learned it is really good. <laughs> Uh-oh, like this is... <laughs> This is why you shouldn't read. Like, what do I do with that? I'm reading the book, I'm like, this is good. He makes good points. He talks about how, how technology itself is the problem. It deprives us of what he calls the power process. And I tell people, I'm like, you should read the book. And they're like, yeah, but didn't he murder people? And I'm like, yeah, but he had like a reason. And if you read the book, you start to see like what his, but it's like, now I'm this guy? Like, you hear this shit coming out of my mouth? I don't want to be this guy. I don't want, that's what reading turns you into. It's a Unabomber defender guy. That's not a fun guy. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be at a party and someone makes a joke like, hey, careful, you don't want to end up like the Unabomber. And I'm like, well, actually, uh, 
You do a lot worse than him. I slide a copy of the book over there. Give that a read. Get back to me. Let me know what you think. You can keep that one. I have a stack at home in my bunker next to my jug of cum. I don't want to be that guy. Guy wears a cape. He's nuts. <laughs>